Hi, hello, welcome back to home school. I'm your Radhika ma'am. I'm going to start today class 10 mathematics LBA lesson based assessments. So first main we are going to have multiple choice questions. We start with your first chapter real numbers. First one root 2 is a or an. What is root 2? Root 2 is an irrational number. Second one. 5 minus root 3 is a or an. What type of a number it is? 5 minus root 3. It is also an irrational number. Third one. Rational number in the following is. Which is a rational number? 5 is a rational number. Right? Whereas pi is irrational, root 3 is irrational, 3 root 3 is also irrational. Fourth one. Which of the following is not an irrational number? Not an irrational number means root 2 is ir irrational. Root 3 is irrational. Root 9 I can write it as 3. Square root of 9 is 3. So it is not an irrational. It becomes a rational number. Root 5 is also irrational. Your question is which of the following is not an irrational? Your answer is option C. Fifth one, rational number in the following is root 3 is irrational, root 4 if you remove square root you are going to get 2, root 5 irrational, root 7 is irrational. Among this which is the rational number option B. Sixth one, pi is, what is pi? Pi is a irrational number. This is a answer. 7th one, 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 is A or an. What is this? How can I write this? I will take out 13 common. 7 into 11, 77 plus 1, 13 into 78. Some answer you are going to get. Right? Whereas, product of a prime number and a composite number, if you multiply, you are going to get a composite number. So, this is your answer. Eighth one, prime factorization of 91 is prime factorization. You need to factorize. So let me do LCM here. How can I write? 7 ones are 7 threes are 13 ones are. So your answer is 7 into 13. Where are the factors? At option B. Ninth one, the number of primes between 1 and 10 is between 1 and 10. So what are the prime numbers? 2, 3, 5, 7. That's it. So how many prime numbers you have? 4 prime numbers. So your answer is option C, 4. Tenth one. Any composite number can be expressed as the product of any composite number can be expressed in the product of prime numbers. Let us check it out. Uh, 2 and 3 is a prime number, right? 2, 3 is a 6 is a composite number. Any composite number can be expressed as a product of prime numbers option C. 11th one, the prime factorization of 120 is 120. Do LCM in prime factors. 2, 60 is a 2, 30 is a 2, 1s are, 2 5s are, 3 5s are. This can be written as 120 is equal to 2 3 times you have. So 2 power 3 into 3 into 5. Where is this answer? 2 power 3 into 3 into 5. See? No. Yes. Your option is option D. Only 3 or 3 power 1 also you can write. Okay? Twelfth one, the prime factors of 30 is, what are the prime factors of 30? 2, 3, 5. Okay, let me write. 2 into 3 is 6, 6, 5 is a 30. So, these are the prime factors. Now, the LCM of 2 and 3. LCM of 2 and 3, 2 and 3 don't have any common factor. So, directly multiply the two numbers. 2, 3 is a 6 is your answer. 14. The HCF of 3 and 5 is 3 and 5 are prime numbers. So there is no common factor other than 1. 
So option A1 is your answer. 15. The HCF of any two consecutive natural numbers is any two consecutive natural numbers. So any two natural numbers you take. Let me take uh, 7, 8 consecutive continuous. So among these two what is the HCF? Nothing is HCF. HCF is only 1. So option B is 1. 16. The HCF of any two prime numbers is if the two numbers are prime numbers there is no other common factor other than 1. So therefore HCF of any two prime numbers is 1 option C. 17. If A and B are co-primes if A and B are co-primes then their HCF is if they are co-primes let me take uh, uh, 7 and 8 if I take any two numbers they are co-primes I am saying what is their HCF HCF is obviously it is 1 right so here A and B are co-primes then their HCF is option C 1 18 the HCF of the smallest composite number and the smallest prime number what is the smallest composite number? 4 is the smallest composite number. And what is smallest prime number? 2. Right? Then their HCF. What is the common factor among these two? 4 can be written as 2 twos are 4. 2 can be written as 2 ones are 2. So what is the common number in between those two? 2. Therefore your answer is option B 2. 19. For any two positive integers a and b, HCF of a, b into LCM of a, b is equal to, we know the relation h into l is equal to a into b. That is where is a into b here? Your answer is option c. 20. The HCF of 12, 15 is 3. The LCM of 12, 15 is what? HCF of 12 and 15. 12 can be written as 3 fourths. 3 fives. Already they have given HCF as 3. Then what is their LCM means? LCM is equal to 3 into remaining numbers you multiply 4 into 5. 5 was a 20, 23 is a 60. Where is your answer? Option A 60. 21. The HCF of 5 square into 2 and 2 power 5 into 5 is. Observe carefully. Here there are 2 5's and here 1 5. Therefore what is the common number in both? 1 5 is common. Okay. And see here 1 2 and here 5 2's are there. So how many 2's are common? 1 2 is common. So therefore what is your HCF? 5 into 2 that is. 5 into 2 or 2 into 5, this is your answer. 22nd, two positive integers a and b are expressed as a equal to x cube y square and b equal to x y cube. a is equal to x cube y square, b is equal to x y cube. If x and y are prime numbers, then the HCF of a, B is. If X and Y are prime numbers, HCF of AB means, what is the HCF of AB here? 3X you have, here 1X you have. Therefore, HCF of A comma B is equal to 1X is common in these two. And here 2Ys, here 3Ys. So therefore, 2Ys means Y square is common. Therefore, HCF of these two terms is x y square option b 23rd the lcm of a and 18 is 36 and hcf of a and 18 is 2 observe carefully lcm of a comma 18 is 36 and what did they give hcf of a comma 18 is 2 h and l given one of the uh, number given and another number given as A. We need to find the value of A. We know, what do we know? H into L is equal to A into B. 
We know B value. Let B value be 18. A value we don't know. So rewrite the formula. A is equal to H into L by B. That is H value. HF is 2 and L value is 36 by B value is 18. Right? 18 twos are 36. 2 into 2 is 4 is your answer. Option C. 24. If P and Q are co-primes, then the HCF of P square and Q square is. If P and Q are co-primes, if HCF is 1, then what about the squares HCF? That is also 1 only. Therefore, option B, 1. 25. If 180 is equal to 2 power x into 3 square into 5, then the value of x is. Now, let us write 180 in the form of prime factors. 2, 90 is a 3, 30 is a 3 tenths, 2 fives. Right? I can write this 180 as 2, two times you have. That means 2 power 2 into 3 power 2 into 5 power 1. So here 3 square into 5 you have. But what do we need here? This they have given as x. Therefore, what is your x value is 2. Option B is your answer. 26. The product of HCF and LCM of the numbers 15 and 20 is. The two numbers are 15, 20 given. Let the two numbers be A and B. What is the product of H and L is your question. We know H into L is equal to A into B. If you are able to find the product of those two numbers, that is your answer. That is 15 into 20 is equal to 300. Product of HCF into LCM is what? 300. Your answer is option C, 300. 27. A is an odd number and B is a number divisible by 3. Listen carefully this question. A is a odd number. B is a number divisible by 3. Let me write here. A is a odd number. Whereas B is divisible by 3. If the LCM of A and B is P, LCM of A and B is P, then LCM of 3A and 2B is your question. Have to find this. Whereas A is an odd number. B is a number which is divisible by 3. But we have a condition. LCM of AB is P. So, A, B, L, C, M is P, right off. And observe the numbers, what you have? 3, 2. What is L, C, M of 3 and 2? 3 and 2 are prime numbers. Therefore, L, C, M is 3 into 2, 6. So, your answer is 6P. Option C, 6P is your answer. 28. The HCF and L, C, M of two numbers A and B are 5 and 200. That is, HCF of a comma b is equal to 5 and lcm of a comma b is equal to 200 given then the product of a and b is already we have solved this type of problem that is h into l is equal to a into b what is your question product of a and b means a into b is equal to question mark if you able to multiply these two that is your answer 5 into 200 is equal to A into B. That is 5 200 so it is 1000. What is the product of A and B? 1000. Option B is your answer. With this we complete LBA of real numbers. We are going to meet in another session with another new video. Until that keep watching. Thank you all.